All right, what's up, y'all? Um, it's your boy Amir. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I hope y'all have had a good week. For today, I'll be doing a preview of my 3K race as well as a few other races that's coming up in this competition. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, guys, so for the first one that we'll be looking at is I'll be looking at the mixed 5,000 meters run open. Um, yeah, so as you can see from the title, it says it's mixed. Which means that there'll be men's and women's that will be running together. Let me see. Who's the Ah um Yeah, most of it is on men actually. Just one. Um Bernice. Yeah. Anyway, um the name that we'll be looking out for here is actually Siba. Um he was the five thousand and the ten thousand meters champion at Polite. Um Yeah. I did uh I helped pace him for a workout. When was it? Wednesday of this week. So I think he's in I reckon he's in shape. The question is um you know can he keep the pace? Yeah. I think he will be fine lah. Yeah. Um honestly not much going on for this race. Like for this entire uh meet. Um Yeah, really not much going on. I mean there's Nawas, of course. Uh 1710, that's the seat time that he put. Um, but I think Siva will be far in ahead. Jackie, he's there to help pace Siva. So, I think, I reckon he'll probably drop out at like what, maybe 3k? 3k? 2k? I'm not sure. Haven't really talked to Jackie about it. But, I do know that he'll be pacing Siva. So, let's see how that goes. Yeah. Um, apart from Siva, I don't think there's anyone here that we should, that I should, I can bring up that can like compete with Siva. So, yeah, let's move on to the next. Okay, so now we'll move on to the Men's 3000 Open, which is at 10.05 on Saturday. Um, just now when I uh, shared about the 5K, that was at 8.55. This one is about an hour-ish after, slightly over an hour after. Um, I predict it's probably going to be hot. If it's not hot, if I'm not wrong, someone told me that there's a chance that it will rain tomorrow. Or rather, like on Saturday at 10 so we'll see how that goes um same thing with the 5000 there's really not much that we're talking about here um it's just three people myself kinko and ruben um of course you guys know those of you who've been watching know that ruben he's my guy um i train with him he's my training partner so yeah the, his seat time here says 9 40 but in all honesty he is very much capable of going on the 9 30. Yeah, um, Keen, well, from what I heard, he's sick, not sure if he's even running tomorrow, if he is, I'm not sure whether he can hit his time, then again, um, he seems quite fit, so, yeah, I won't put it past him lah, yeah, um, as for myself, training has been going quite well, um, yeah, I would say training has been going well, um, my calf issue is still there, sort of, like, it's kind of like on and off, but, I would say that my target probably 9.30 or like faster. I'm not really thinking too much about the time. I'm just going to work on the execution. Yeah. On to the next. Okay, so now for the men's 1500 meters open. Um, that will be taking place right after my race, which is at 10.30. Um, it's only really one person that I would take note of. Uh, and that is Silas Arvin. His seat time here is 4.25, but he has ran, like his PB is 4.12. He ran that while at the National Stadium in the same race that I ran my 4.10. Yeah, so he is fast. And if I'm not wrong, he just ran like 4.15 like a few months ago. So, I think he's in shape. Um, he was actually slated to run the 3K with me um, in this, uh, in my race. Lah. But, I think he pulled out because of the back-to-back, -back. so yeah, I'm looking for him to maybe go like 420, but then again, I'm not very sure because this heat isn't very fast. Um, yeah, I think everybody's just winding down for the year, just taking a break, you know, so that's why it's not really any any fast races lah, yeah. Okay, so that's it um, for this episode, it's not very... It's not a very long one.
because honestly, this all comes five. Um, I think S E E Singapore Athletics meant for it to be like a a qualifier for the Asian indoors, but not many of the top distance runners are running. Um, anyway, it would be hard lah to qualify for the Asian indoors for the distance events. If I'm not wrong, the eight hundred is one fifty two, the thousand five is three fifty one, and the three k is eight thirty two. That's the qualify marks. Yeah, which are very much out of reach for most, or just about everybody in Singapore at this point. Yeah, um. But for me, I mean, my goal, my reason why I'm doing the three k, is because um, my first race in Australia is gonna be a, three k race, so I don't want to go there and you know get my ass whooped, um, not knowing what to expect in the race, so yeah. We'll see how it goes, um, on Saturday, and yeah, just for race experience. Okay, y'all. So that's it for this episode. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. I figured it's a bit dry, but um, yeah, I'll try and make the next episode a bit more exciting. I'll bring you along on my race, um, like pre-race. Hopefully, I'll get some shots during the race, and then I'll do some post-race analysis for you guys. Yeah, so. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and continue to support me. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace. Hey Ruben, so how are you feeling for the race on Saturday? Uh, yes. Basically, he's ready to get his ass whooped. Nah, okay, okay. okay. Yes. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. We're predicting Amir to let me. If Amir didn't let me, uh, I think he should retire. <laughs> Honestly. Nah, nah, nah. I'm aiming for a solid 12 minutes. That's cap. Yeah. That's cap. Guys, guys, guys. He's he's the national champion at TK. Like this. Don't listen to him, bro. He's full of like crap. Like honestly, he's gonna run like freaking like nice skin or something.